Hey, it's Dave with Projected People. Uh, I'm back again today to talk about the BenQ Wireless FHD uh, kit. It's got a receiver and a transmitter, and we're going to hook this thing up, show you, uh, take it through its paces, and find out whether or not this thing actually works as it says. Okay, so what we've got here is the wireless receiver. This is a two-part unit. We have the transmitter and the other room, which we'll go and we'll take a look at in just a second. Um, You'll see I still have the coating on here, I'm taking that off, but uh, this has two, uh, except sources from two different HDMI inputs which are on the transmitter itself, um, but it automatically finds it, or you can hit the source button to locate them. Um, and then on the back you have your one HDMI output which is going to go to the projector, and then you have a, a mini USB which will go to a USB on the projector. This works, uh, this is actually built for the 1075s or uh, BenQ models uh, newer than 2014. Um, there's another way to set it up for models older than that. So if you have the 1070 or, or a different model, you can still use this adapter. There's instructions inside the box that tell you how to do it. Um, just requires a couple of adapters. Okay, so it comes with a mounting kit, um, two different pieces depending on the type of mount you have, the different types of projectors. This fits really easy onto the bottom of the unit itself. Um, you have a screw hole right here, attaches there, and then on the bottom of this 1075 in particular, there's a uh, screw hole which is attached to that, and then you would attach your projector to the mount, and so it fits snugly, kind of like right on the edge like that. So it's a nice, it stays out of the way, you don't have to worry about jimmy rigging it or anything. If you do have an older model projector and the mounts don't work, it also comes with a Velcro stat, uh, strap, which you can attach to uh, the extendable mount or something like that and keeps it nice and secure. So they, they really think of everything here. Um, let's go ahead and set this thing up. We'll attach it to the projector now. So we have two cables. Uh, we'll start by putting the USB, mini USB, to the USB in the back here. And then you'll see, uh, I don't know if you can see it already, it's already got some kind of power going to it. And then we will plug in the HDMI. This really only takes a few seconds. HDMI that there. So you'll want to use a small HDMI cord, probably something a foot and a half long would be more than enough. And we will plug that into the HDMI input on the back of the 1075. Okay, so it's searching for an input signal right now. It's not going to find one because we don't have the transmitter transmitting. Let's go take a look at that. Okay, so we've got our Blu-ray player and our transmitter uh, set up back here. This is our old school Aquas, still does the job well. Um, and then from the back here, if Danny can get a shot, we've got our HDMI plug going into the back of the transmitter. And you can see here, Danny, can you see that? Okay, we've got our two HDMI inputs and one HDMI output. Um, and you have your uh, little AC adapter cable, which provides power to the unit. That's a, it's a really light unit. I would say it's even less than half a pound. Um, just a few ounces. You have your power switch and then you have your source selector to choose from between one and two. So if you had, I don't know, your Xbox or your PlayStation or another DVD player or just your TV cable, um, you could have those both plugged in at the same time and sending that signal out. Now that we've got the transmitter all set up, we're going to take a stroll back to the conference room um, and see if this thing's actually working. Wow, it looks like it works. Uh, we have the wireless transmitter hooked up, as we saw just a second ago. Uh, roughly about 20, 25, 30 feet outside of the room where we have the receiver in here. Um, we've got a closed door. This is an enclosed space. Um, and we are getting an excellent full HD image um, from this wireless unit. So I'd say if you're looking for a wireless setup uh, to use with your existing projector or with the new HT1075. Uh, um, this is an excellent unit, especially if you're going to be using it in two separate rooms. Uh, or in the same room, you can expect uh, that even with a mild bit of interference, uh, that you're going to get an excellent quality image. So again, thanks for checking it out. Uh, if you have questions or you'd like to learn more about it, come visit us at projectorpeople.com. 
and thank you for your time.